we need to evaluate the given definite integral using integration by parts. Notice u substitution is not going to work here because if we let u equal negative two x, du is equal to negative two dx, and we solve this extra factor of x in the integrand function. So we will have to perform integration by parts. Before we consider the definite integral though, let's find the antiderivative by considering the indefinite integral of eight x e to the power of negative two x dx. Once we find the antiderivative, we'll come back and evaluate the definite integral. So performing integration by parts, let's let u equal eight x so that du is simpler, which means dv is equal to e to the power of negative two x dx. If u is equal to eight x, then du is equal to the derivative of eight x times dx, which gives us eight dx. And if dv equals e to the power of negative two x dx, we need to integrate both sides of the equation to find v. And let's go ahead and show some work here because we are going to have to perform u substitution. We have the integral of, let's write dv as one dv equals the integral of e to the power of negative two x dx. Well, the integral of one with respect to v is v. It's really v plus c, but we'll leave the plus c off for now. Equals on the right, to integrate e to the power of negative two x dx, we need to perform u substitution, where u is equal to negative two x, and du is equal to negative two dx. Let's go ahead and solve for dx by dividing both sides by negative two. Simplifying, we have negative one half to u equals dx, which means we can write the integral of e to the power of negative two x dx with respect to u as negative one half times the integral of e to the u du. Again, dx gave us negative one half du and u is equal to negative two x. This gives us v equals negative one half times e to the u plus c, which is really negative one half e to the power of negative two x plus c. And again, leaving this plus c off for now, we now know that v is equal to negative one half e to the power of negative two x. And now we can complete the integration by parts formula. The given integral is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. Well, u times v is going to be eight x times negative one half e to the power of negative two x, which gives us negative four x e to the power of negative two x. And then we have minus the integral of v times du Notice v times du is going to be negative four e to the power of negative two x dx. Because we have negative four, let's write this as plus four times the integral of e to the power of negative two x dx. Notice now the integral is much simpler. So the antiderivative is going to be negative four x e to the power of negative two x plus four times the integral of e to the power of negative two x dx, which we found earlier as just negative one half e to the power of negative two x plus c. So we have negative one half times e to the power of negative two x plus c, which means our antiderivative is negative four x e to the power of negative two x minus two e to the power of negative two x plus c. And now we can evaluate the definite integral. Going back to the original definite integral, we have the integral from negative 0.7 to 0.6 of eight x e to the power of negative two x dx. And, and now because we know the antiderivative, we can determine big F of 0.6 minus big F of negative 0.7. Remember when evaluating a def integral, we leave off the plus C because the plus C would simplify out when determining big F of B minus big F of A. So first we have big F of 0 0.6, which is negative four times 0 0.6 times e to the power of negative two times 0 0.6 minus two times e to the power of negative two times 0 0.6 and then we have minus big F of negative 0 
which is negative four times negative 0.7 times e raised to the power of negative two times negative 0.7 minus two times e to the power of negative two times negative 0.7. And now we go to the calculator to determine this difference. Notice in the first cell, I've evaluated the def integral using decimals.com. To four decimal places, we have negative 4.569. And then below, I've also entered big F of 0.6 minus big F of negative 0.7, and the result is the same. To three decimal places, we have negative 4.569. I hope you found this helpful.